You ever wondered why your TV fails? This is 90% of the TV failures. This guy right here. Not at this particular value, but this is a capacitor. You see that this is 6.3 volts. A lot of times companies will just get by with the voltages. Say you have a 12 volt system. They'll put a 15 volt capacitor. It's only three volt difference between what you're supposed to be supplied and what that thing can handle. So if you have a voltage spike in your house, say it went from 125 volts to 130 volt AC, your capacitor and all your stuff, the power supply will also rise in voltage. And you notice that this is not blown yet. There's a video tutorial in my video description. And you can see whether they are blown or not. Most of them pop. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what happens when your capacitors blow up on the TV. And exactly what it looks like when it blows up. And I have this capacitor set up right now. As you notice it's a 6.3 volt. And this power supply behind it, I have it set to a voltage at 20 volts. So you can see that it have a higher voltage coming in. Of course, the object of this right now is going to be exploding this capacitor. But I want to give you a visual of what your TV of the inside looks like while your capacitor is blowing up. I have a power strip down below, and I'm going to turn it on in about five seconds here. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two. And there you have it. That's what happens with capacitors go bad. They explode and they get confetti everywhere. But this is a slow motion version of it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a little bit of understanding of why capacitors fail. The quality of the TV will make the difference. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave me a comment. I'll see you next time.